All right, so I installed an anchor, an anchor point right here on this rock for my hammock. This is, this is away from camp. It's not on a trail. It's not, you know, on a road. It's not in a campsite. So we're remote out here in the middle of nowhere. So I brought with me the woven daisy chain webbing. And what I'm going to do like I could put a carabiner through here, that's, that's a climbing anchor. And, which I could do that and maybe, probably should if I was gonna do a lot of this, I don't know. Hard to know, I've got, I actually got carabiners back in the truck. <laughs> so let's just see. I mean, this stuff's pretty tough, I don't think it's, a carabiner would probably be a little more radius, a little round, more rounded, so it might be better, but that thing there ain't going anywhere. I ran back to the truck and grabbed a carabiner. This one has a locking gate, whatever, not necessary. Anyway, that's probably more appropriate. Uh, the surface is here, rounder, larger radiuses, radii. So now I can just connect that up like that. I'm good to go. All right, so I brought my HD poncho with me. This is 500 denier Cordura nylon fabric. And these are ones that we tell people, do whatever you want with them. <laughs> They'll hold about any user weight. I sometimes tell people if you can walk, you can use it. <laughs> it's like I had this one. I had this one snapped up. We'll unsnap it here. And typically, unsnapping, you want to have the best way to put your thumbs together and rotate. That gives like a leverage and help hold the, help the, release the snaps easier. Okay. So here we are, I'm gonna just put it on. It's gonna be noisy on my microphone, so I'll shut up for a minute. I'm not going to snap this all up because I'm just going to use it as a hammock right now. But anyway, so you see poncho mode like this. And then we can go right into hammock mode. This one has the optional quick connects built into it. so. Right here on the end of the, there's a cord sleeve. See right, right here on each end, the front and the back. So inside that cord sleeve, if you, did, if you didn't order any option, you'd get parachute cord and you would just drop that through this cord sleeve. But you see, because I have the quick connect, it's just built in, which is Amsteel Blue, which is a Dyneema cord made by Sampson Rope. So see, I just pull my two eyes out like that. And then on the lighter fabrics, you can just zing it down like that. On heavier fabrics, like the HD, you kind of start at the middle and you just kind of work it. Just because the fabric's a little heavier, it helps it to draw up there easier. And whenever you order 
the daisy chain web you get a set of these aircraft aluminum toggles with a have a shock cord in them that you can kind of I'll show you and put around there now the normal way to hook this up I'll have to check my distance it might be too far to actually do like this but normally you just stick the daisy chain web through there through both of the eyes and then just stick your finger there and open open up an eye shove the toggle in there and the toggle just keeps everything in place you can if you want take this shock cord put it over the end of the toggle Man, it's pretty windy <laughs> up here. My hammock wants to turn into a sail. But that happens. So I reach in here and grab quick connect out of there. And I grab a quick connect out of the other side. And like I was saying, start at this middle right here, and then just kind of pull down a little. Once you get in there, put some body weight on it. It'll, it'll tighten it all down. And see, I do I have plenty. I have plenty here to work with. I don't know what I was thinking. I've done this enough. I ought to be able to judge that by now. Okay, so now... that toggle through there and I think I'll I'm gonna move that one up a little because this is too low to the ground okay so as you can see my everything's dragging the ground so I'm too low so this is one of the nice things that's so easy to adjust it just pull this, pull some more through here. Probably something like this, because I still have to kind of tighten everything up. So then I just put my, so that's all I do to adjust it. So I just, just adjusted this by almost a foot. Okay. Now, what I usually do is once I get it kind of hooked up, and I'll just put a little body weight right here in the middle. Because I want to make sure everything's secure before I get in. I want to make sure this kind of pulls everything tight like these ends here. Kind of tightens those up a good bit. The other thing I want to do is close the hood down. So because the hood in hammock mode you typically want that closed up, right? And that makes about a gallon and a half size pocket. That like I'll just I'll throw stuff out of my pockets, whatever, just different things, maybe a flashlight, stuff I might need during the night. I just throw it down there in that pocket. So I like to be about chair height. If you've ever read Derek Hansen's book on hammocking, he's got a book, it's I don't know, hundreds of pages thick. Derek Hansen. Um, and he rec I used to pitch high. I used to pitch like chest high and climb up in. <laughs> then I read his book and like makes sense. So I'm a little low. Um, you find if if it if you set up at chair height, it's easy in, easy out. Like you just roll in, roll out. You're not climbing. You're not getting down into it. You're not getting up into it. So so let me just pull up on this. So, see if I want to go up one, probably that's all I really want to do is one. If I want to go up one, then I just put this toggle through there. That might be enough. Let's take a look and see. Yeah, that's, oh yeah, yep. See, my, my thighs are level, parallel with the ground. So that's the right height. Because, see... Getting in here, I just sit down. You're, 
a person is used to sitting on a chair, right? So having it chair height, you're used to sitting down. So when you get in your hammock, you're just basically sitting down into your hammock. If you do like I did when we very first started making these poncho hammocks, I used to pitch the thing dead tight, about almost armpit high, and you almost had to climb up into it to get into this. It was awkward. This is one thing Derek Hansen also recommends. You have a little bit of curvature to this. It just, it's more comfortable. It's just better all around. Anyway, okay. So, I am ready to jump in this thing here. So, right here, nice and comfortable. <laughs> Look, I closed my eyes. It's like, <laughs> it's like it's automatic. It's like there's... So anyway, this is a nice little setup right here. I will probably, as the year goes on, I will, I found a bunch of places I want to explore back here. So, I will probably sleep in my hammock overnight right here on one or more of those nights that I'm out here. So there we go. I got me a pretty good rock going on here now. <laughs> Swinging good. I could fall asleep like this. As you can see, I can put my legs even out like this. So I don't have to lay like this. Like some people don't like that because it hurts their knees. So I can go, oftentimes I sleep kind of like this. A little bent need like that. Sometimes I sleep on my side. Sometimes I sleep on my side like this. And I don't sleep on my stomach. 